Our next inductee is Dorothy Goldsworthy, a lifelong Wisconsinite and longtime Madison resident. The roots of girls' interscholastic high school sports in Madison can all be traced back to Dorothy Goldsworthy, a teacher and coach of many sports at Madison's Edgewood High School and also active in playing a variety of sports, which she continues doing to this day. Goldsworthy spent one year as a substitute teacher at Edgewood and in Madison's public schools, then was hired full-time at Edgewood in 1966 to head the school's physical education department, oversee the girls' intramural sports, and was cheerleader moderator. Three years later, in 1969, she was asked to start the school's interscholastic athletic programs, and Edgewood started competition in 1970, ahead of Madison's public schools. She was the only coach and was in charge of basketball, volleyball, and tennis to start, and she added softball a short time later. Since there were no other Madison teams, most of the competition involved playing Milwaukee area schools. Once the Madison Public Schools developed girls' programs, she became a leader in scheduling intercity games. She credits principal sister Kathleen O'Connell and former Edgewood athletic directors, the late George Christ, and current University of Minnesota athletic director Joel Maturi for creating and expanding girls' athletics at Edgewood. Dorothy Goldsworthy was born in Racine in 1929 to Hunter and Ann Miller. She graduated from Horlick High School in 1946. Sports opportunities for girls were not available in school, so Goldsworthy played on teams outside of school. During the summers of her junior and senior years, she got a job at Metal Parts in Racine making engine parts, but mostly because they wanted her to play softball. The team was an offshoot of the Racine Bells of the All-American Girls Professional Baseball League, which flourished during World War II. Goldsworthy played third base. After high school, she attended the UW Extension in Racine for two years and eventually enrolled at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, where she graduated in 1950 with a bachelor's degree in recreation. 1950 was even more memorable because Dorothy married longtime Racine acquaintance Clarence Goldsworthy, more commonly known as Goldie. They have three sons, Bob, Tim, and Tom, and five grandchildren. She says she was a self-taught coach. She did a lot of reading, attended clinics and camps, and learned a lot through helping her sons become active in sports. Goldsworthy was successful in all the sports she coached. Edgewood was a member of the Wisconsin Private Schools Athletic Association, and her teams were regulars at WISA tournaments. Her volleyball squads went to the state tournament seven times, finishing second in 1978, and the Crusaders' 78 and 80 softball teams played in the state championship games. She coached basketball for 19 seasons and won 201 games and lost only 121. The 1976 team played in the first WISA sectional tournament ever held. The 1979 squad won the WISA state title, finishing the season with a 24-1 mark and an unbeaten record in city competition. One of the seniors on that team, Lori Malio, became the first girl in Madison history to score more than 400 points in a season, and she was named City Player of the Year. That year, 1979, was probably Goldsworthy's finest as the volleyball, basketball, and softball teams all qualified for the state tournaments. Goldsworthy gave up volleyball coaching in 1987, basketball in 88, and softball in 1990, the year she retired from Edgewood. She's always been eager to share her knowledge with young athletes. During the summer, she kept busy as an instructor at camps and playing sports as well. She coached at a UW camp with a young Wisconsin Badger assistant coach named Bo Ryan. And at one of Edgewood's camps, she coached a young girl from Oregon named Lisa Anderson, who is now known as Badger women's basketball coach Lisa Stone. In between coaching and camps and the busy schedule of her three athletic sons, Goldsworthy played Madison Recreation softball, volleyball, and basketball for close to 30 years. And for more than 30 years, she has played in a Twilight Golf League at Odana Hills and was a Badger State Golf Games champ in 2004. Goldsworthy's philosophy towards athletics was, and is, be happy, give 100%, and remember, you are important. That philosophy can easily apply to Goldsworthy herself, and her years of service have been recognized at Edgewood, in Madison, and throughout the state. She was inducted into the Edgewood High School Athletic Hall of Fame in 1995. The Wisconsin Basketball Coaches Hall of Fame in 1997 was named the Wisconsin Independent Schools Athletic Association Woman of the Year in 1991, WISA Basketball Coach of the Year, and Madison City Coach of the Year in 1979. And she was honored by the University of Wisconsin School of Education as Teacher of Teachers in 1989. Goldsworthy retired from Edgewood in 1990, ending a 24-year teaching career. In announcing her retirement, school president Tom Shipley said Edgewood is a better place today because of the many contributions made over the years by Dorothy Goldsworthy. Words simply cannot express our gratitude to her.
In retirement, she and Goldie have traveled extensively throughout the United States and abroad. They spend a good portion of their winters in Florida. They are also avid backers of University of Wisconsin sports. Dorothy Goldsworthy has enriched and touched the lives of many people over the years, not just the hundreds of girls she has coached and taught at Edgewood High School. The Madison Sports Hall of Fame and Schweigler Sport Promotions are proud to induct Dorothy Goldsworthy into the fine class of 2006.